Hey everyone, I'm Taylor Hudak with Activists in Munich reporting to you live in London outside the Old Bailey Courthouse on the Julian Assange extradition hearings. Today we heard from two defense witnesses. The first was Professor John Sloboda, who spoke about the redaction process before the publication of the Iraq war logs. Sloboda testified that Assange took the redaction process very seriously and even delayed the publication of the Iraq war logs to ensure the proper redactions were made. Sloboda, who is the founder of Iraq Body Count, testified that the Iraq war logs is an essential publication to understanding civilian casualties in Iraq. Documents released by WikiLeaks uh, led to, he found, they found out that there were like 15,000 more civil casualties than they had known before, but also that for them it's extremely important to, um, to know how people died and in, in what way, what circumstances, and he said that the documents helped him a lot. Uh, in his research and his work. The prosecution is seeking to establish that Assange was careless during the redaction process and prosecutors continued with their typical techniques of discrediting defense witnesses. The second defense witness to testify was human rights attorney Kerry Shankman. He spoke about the U.S. Espionage Act of 1917 and the dangers of using this act to criminalize publishing activities. What is your perspective on how the United States is using a very antiquated piece of legislation, the U.S. Espionage Act of 1917, against a journalist and publisher for the very first time? For me, it seems to be a bit strange, all the things that are surrounding the Espionage Act, uh, how the court, like how the prosecution would take place in the states, that evidence is secret, seems to be a bit, a bit weird for me. Um, but now after like having a quick glance at the statement that the second witness gave today the historical context of the espionage act um, it originates in world war one and basically in a time where uh, it was supposed to prevent people from making statements against the war so the government wanted to hold all people to support the war and wanted to punish people who made statements against it and that's the spirit it originates from so I find it quite weird. I think that the the number of journalists who are afraid or frightened or intimidated by this proceeding going on here um, speaks for itself especially there are a lot of journalists that consider themselves not fans of Mr. Assange but still think it's it's horrible that he's um, indicted under the Espionage Act and are afraid of um, it, that it could result in a, yeah, a huge violation of press freedom and could change press freedom in the future. Shankman testified that the Espionage Act is one of the most highly contentious pieces of legislation in the United States and that it is up to prosecutorial discretion to not use it against innocent citizens. Shankman was critical of the prosecution's line of questioning, stating that much of it was based off of hypotheticals to invoke a response. His testimony will resume tomorrow and we will be back here reporting on this case. So please make sure that you do subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you like the work that we do here, please donate to our organization. I'm Taylor Hudak with Activism Munich and thank you all for watching.